Okay, now we are going to continue our syllabus of issuance of stock. So here, after we keep our material, our raw material that we purchase in our storeroom, here what we are going to do is our material that we keep in our storeroom, we are going to issue to the production. Okay, so why we have to issue the production department to make sure that we would like to finish a uh, manufacture to become a finished good. But one of the reasons or the problem is actually here to determine the material issue prices because if we would like to issue to production, we have uh, several different prices. Why we have several different prices? Because we purchase at different time. Maybe the earliest one, we purchase one ringgit. The second one, we purchase two ringgit. And the third one, the purchase price is different for three ringgit. So basically, we have three method, five-fold method, life-fold method, and weighted average method. All right, next one. Uh, we go into detail what is actually FIFO method. The long name is first in, first out. So what is first in, first out? So basically, we have the, the old price and then we have the new price. What about FIFO method? The older material will be used up first. For example, just now we have three different prices, one ringgit, the first one, the second batch is two ringgit, and the third batch is the three ringgit. If we would like to issue, we are going to issue the first batch, which is the old one or the one ringgit. And then if we have uh, the second batch, we are going to issue for the two ringgit. Alright, LIFO method, we are going to issue the last material that we receive, we are going to issue up first. For example, just now, one ringgit, the second is two ringgit, and the third is three ringgit. So which one that we would like to issue first is actually the recent batch, which is the three ringgit. And the last one is the weighted average method. For example, here, what we are going to issue is actually the average prices. The average prices, how to calculate for the average prices? We total up the cost of material. Okay? For example, the one ringgit, we times save the quantity, how much? And then we take the two ringgit, we times save the quantity of how much? And then we plus with the three ringgit times the quantity and then we divide it by the total quantity. So this one will give us the average prices. Alright, next we are going to study related with uh, stock loss or stock losses. So it's actually why we have the stock losses because it's actually what we have in our stock or the physical amount that we have in our store is not the same what is stated on the storage account or storage card. So here, the physical amount, the actual one, is not the same as what is stated on the paper. So what we have to do is, we have to adjust our storage account or storage card to be adjusted to reflect the actual amount. Okay? For example, in our storage card, we have 100 units. When we go to physical account, we go and check exactly. It just left of 80. So, 100 in the written one is actually only left in our store 80. So, it shows that it losses of uh, 20 units. Right? So, 100 we minus 80 so equals of 20. So what is 20 here is a stop loss. So here, this is reason for the store losses. Why we have the store losses? Number one is we do wrongly on our storage account. Number two, we keep in different place, but we find we try to find in different place. Number three, we did a wrong calculation. And the last one is theft or uh, preferred by the someone. 
Alright, next we are going to refer to the uh, illustration three. So illustration three here, we are going to explain into detail how are we going to do our calculation here, issuance of stock based on the three method, which is five four, line four, and weighted average method. Right, so we have to see for the next video. Thank you.